In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a full year heat map calendar that includes the month labels, as you can see here on the screen. This builds upon a great post by Kevin Taylor on Tableau's blog about how to create heat map calendars. I'm not going to show you all the step-by-step -step instructions for how to do that because Kevin wrapped that up really nicely in his post. But at the end of his post, he's left with us, he leaves us with a little bit of a question that he and I had chatted about on Twitter. Well, the first, the thing that he wanted to do was he didn't know how to put the, um, you can see here for his additional challenge, he'd like to have a scalable solution for adding the month names. So he couldn't quite figure out how to do it. And, um, and I let him know that I had figured it out and posted it as a workout Wednesday challenge. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to start with Kevin's, uh, Kevin's heat map because you can see uh, it's most of the way there and you can just follow his instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this sheet and I'm going to duplicate it because I don't want to mess up Kevin's work. So what I basically need to do is I need month labels above the first week of each uh, quarter. So in order to do that, <clears throat> there's a couple small things I need to do. First off, I need to change my week index to continuous. I'm doing that because I need it to, uh, I need to be able to use the secondary axis for my month labels. Now these are in reverse order, so I'm going to double click on my axis and I'm just going to set the scale to reverse because I want the first week set the top. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mark type from square to a Gantt bar. And then I'm going to change, I'm going to put the average number of records on size because I want them all to be one. Okay, so then for my labels, I'm going to go ahead and let me go ahead and show the mark uh, labels. I'm going to make the font a bit smaller just to make it a little easier to see. And then I have to fix the alignment. So the alignment is going to be on the middle, oops, sorry, on the right and in the middle. Okay, so now we can see we've got the, the skeleton of the calendar built. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put my, my uh, you'll notice that my weekdays went down to the bottom. I want those at the top. So I'm going to do that by going up to the analysis menu, table layout advanced. And I'm going to untick this option that shows the innermost level at the bottom of the view. So that's going to move my weekdays to the top. All right, so we're almost there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I need to go ahead and increase the size of my bars so they fill up the space. Okay. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and somehow use the secondary axis to put my month labels on there. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call it my week label. And all this is going to be is uh, it's just going to give me a place to, to stick the name of the week. So I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to say if the date part of the week of our date, if that's equal to, and this uh, Kevin's calendar starts on Sunday, so Wednesday would be four. That basically puts it in the middle. So if I'm on the fourth day, then, uh, and this should be weekday, not week, then I want to just return a value of minus 2.0. End. So what this is telling me is if I'm on Wednesday, then just give me a dot at minus 2. So I'm going to throw that on my secondary axis. Go ahead and synchronize. Oops. So in this case, uh, we need to change this to be a decimal. And now we should be able to synchronize. OK. And let's go ahead and reverse the scale again. It looks like it's got switched around. So let's hit OK. All right. So what I want to do on the secondary axis now is I want to get rid of all of this stuff. I don't want the days on there. What I want to have on here is actually my weekday. Or I'm sorry, I want to have my month on here. And I'm going to make this text. All right. So there we go. So then I can just do a bit of formatting. Maybe center it. Make it bold. Maybe make it 10 point, something like that. All right, and then from here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off, uh, take that out of the uh, tooltip. Go ahead and hide the headers. And then I've got my indicator down here, so I want to go ahead and hide that indicator. Now I want to format 
my view to get rid of all of my grid lines. Okay, and get rid of my zero lines. All right, so now if we put this in a dashboard, so let's go ahead and throw this in a dashboard. Let's see, Kevin has his set to uh, 1,000 by 800. Let's do, let's do maybe 900. Let's make it nice and skinny. All right, there we go. And then, uh, so you can see we've got the makings of a calendar here. I'm gonna shrink this up a bit. But you notice that some of my numbers are a bit off here. So uh, what I want to do here is, uh, so this one is returning, um, let's go ahead and turn on, let's make this an average. Okay, so it should have been the average week label, not the sum, and that gets everything to, to line up nice and neat. Okay, so let's go back over to our dashboard. And now you can see we've got a full month calendar with the, with the view. So I'm gonna go ahead and format my year, maybe make that nice and big. Let's maybe make that 12 point and bold. And uh, let's make that bold, there we go. And maybe that's all we're gonna do. You could format this to death if you want. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back over here and uh, yeah. So from this point, we could hide the title. And now when we flip through the different years, you'll notice that my year labels stick on there nice and neat. So that's a pretty, pretty simple way to do it. Um, if you look on, if you search the, week, uh, the Workout Wednesday hashtag on Twitter, you'll see a couple of other creative solutions. Um, Rosario had actually got it to where she could put the week labels or the week yeah the week labels down here as well so that was a neat little trick so if there's anything else you'd like to see in a tip just let me know have a good day